Let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Phoenix Suns. At power forward, Jay Crowder. At center, DeAndre Ayton. At the other forward position, Mikhail Bridges. At point guard, Chris Paul. At the other guard position, Devin Booker. The head coach of the visiting team is Monty Williams. Sixers going up against the Phoenix Suns. Hi everyone, here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kello. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for DeAnthony Melton. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. And it's Aiden in at the center position. And for the 76ers... Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. Harden is the two, with Harris playing small forward. And it's Maxi in at the point. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But... course it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone they need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page Harris misses and it's Phoenix's ball and guys this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year they won both of their meetings last season you love to pull that off against another powerhouse well the sample size wasn't that big I mean two games not a lot to go on but they are two teams at the top of the pile in each of their conferences and because of that I expect it to be competitive so it's Philadelphia now. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Embiid against Aiden. Embiid is screen on Booker. Just four to shoot. For three, Maxi. The Suns clear it. Bridges outside. Up top, Aiden. 
to Crowder. Booker with it. Crowder a screen on Harden. Outside Paul. Takes the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Bridges against Maxi. And here's Embiid. From 15 feet away. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Clearly an MVP caliber talent now. MB continues to impress with his versatility on both ends. A man that big shouldn't be able to do the stuff that he does with the ball. And Embiid drops them both. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26th, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot injury. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Harden. Coming off a terrific game against New York. And Harden with the slam. Boy, the slam from the beard. Elevating a little bit. James can go from 0 to 100 pretty quick for a guy this size. Well, give Philadelphia credit. They didn't rush MB back. They, in fact, trusted the process. Pun intended, Chris folks. Paul. And Joel has returned the favor. An MVP caliber center who changes a franchise. He is a franchise cornerstone piece. A great example of how being patient and doing what's best for the player ends up being a winning combination for all. Now here's Embiid. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Maxi against Paul. It's Booker on the wing. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. The fadeaway. And that one hits the back iron. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Back to Harris. Goes back up. And Embiid with the lay-in. Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. Joel has position. There's not much anybody can do to stop him. Aiden with a screen. Paul with it. Picked up by Embiid. Here's Aiden. And blocked with his Paul. What a defensive play. Outside Maxi. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Now here's Paul. Checking his stats, he's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Dayton, a screen on Harden. Here's Booker. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about his historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Embiid can't hit. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Maxi against Paul. Outside Booker. The Suns need to get off a shot. There's the triple. That shot off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine. Getting them high-quality looks time and time again. Boy, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it. And you could feel that they were playing for each other. The 76ers have gone three of eight so far. Outside Maxi, Embiid. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Well, you know, there's only 
only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now here's Paul. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Portland. And his assist numbers were remarkable as well. His play is crucial to this team's success. Hooker no good. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Hooker with a screen on Harris. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And the Suns making a change here. Haynes checked in. Now here's Melton. And he also played a big role in their last game with New York. Melton against Aiden. Melton, no good. The Suns shooting 33% in the first quarter. Booker finds Payne. It's Booker on the wing. Maxi covering. Fader on the way. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Back to Melton. The kick out to Milton. Niang a screen. The three. And another miss by Philadelphia. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And stolen by Milton. Pass to Maxi. Here's Niang. Puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. And the 76ers lead by three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Aiden with a screen. Booker, the pass to Payne. Phoenix no good that time either. Philadelphia has gone one of four from deep. And he lobs it up to the rim. And then Embiid with the dunk. And Embiid has a really high basketball IQ. Superb at recognizing when to leap for the alley-oop jam. Melton against Booker. Right wing. Crowder with a screen. Pass to Booker. Now Aiden. Down to five on the shot clock. And Booker with the jam. Fantastic decision making. Aiden electing to move it for the high percentage look. Payne against Maxi. Here's Embiid, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Suns trailing. Maxie and Harden make up the backcourt. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. And it's Tucker in at the five spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Aiden, no good. The 76ers shooting only 36% so far in this game. Here's Harris. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. Boy, what a find. Harden's passing skill. Incredible. James did win an assist title, you know. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. And again, it's the Suns missing. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Crowder, he's checked in for Johnson. Up top, Maxi. Knocked away. And the Suns pushing it up now. Here's Crowder. And the layup falls. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. The Sixers leading. Outside Harden. And then Harden with the jam. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. And here's Crowder from the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Maxi with it. Now guarded by Crowder. Maxi with it. Ten points in his last outing. 
Tucker inside. Just covered by Eaton. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Tucker does not shy away from contact. As a matter of fact, he embraces it and looks for it. Plays with a lot of force. That one falls, so he hits both of them. I don't think there's any question the Sixers made the biggest trade of last season, sending a huge package to the Nets and getting James Harden in return. Crowder, the pass to Booker. Crowder, a screen on Maxi. Pass to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. And here's Crowder from the arc. Eibel with the board. And Clark in that Philly-Brooklyn trade. There were five players and two first-round draft picks involved. And B.A., they were big-time players Philly gave up. Simmons, Drummond, Seth Curry. But when you're playing for a title and you can add James Harden, I think you got to take that chance. Maxi against Paul. Aiden, a screen on Maxi. Puts it up from 12. And again, it's the Suns missing. The 76ers have gone three of three to begin the second. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel B. drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Uh, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. Eight, a screen on Harden. Back to Paul. Pass to Crowder. Crowder with a screen. Here's Booker. Gets a very good look and converts. Booker's got eight. Awfully tough play to defend. When you honor the roller, Booker just takes advantage. Tucker finds Harden. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's his third foul so far. Picks up his third foul. We'll see now what coach decides to do from here. Outside Harden. To the inside. Here's Tucker. Defensively, Ayton's always had the size and length. Where he's really improved is with the angles he takes to the ball. For three, Bridges. And James Harden pulls it down. The 76ers have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Paul. Still Sixers ball. Here's Harden. No luck on that one. And Phoenix the other way now. Down low. Here's Aiton. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. And now just a five-point Philadelphia lead. Yeah, this is where Aiton's comfortable operating, using his height and array of inside moves to his advantage. Here's Harden. Uses the glass on the layup. Harden's got eight points here in the quarter. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Crowder, the pass to Booker. Crowder, a screen on Harden. Booker for three, and James Harden pulls it down. The 76ers have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Right side, Tucker. Dival on the wing. Pass to Harris. Six to shoot. Harris is doubled. On the wing, Harden. Let's go with a three. And that one's no good. He's five of seven in this one. And they're on the break. Booker can't get it to go. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 56% for the second quarter. Here's Harden. Ten points for him. Dival on the wing. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got eight rebounds in the game. And the Suns shooting poorly. Just 30% so far. Booker, the pass to Bridges. Booker against Harden. Back to Bridges. On the wing, Crowder. Drains the triple. Crowder's got five points. You know, not every player can make that kind of a pass. I mean, Paul makes it look easy, but it takes really tremendous vision and timing to execute that. Pass to Theibel. They set a pick. And that one is hammered home! Woo! Defensively, you can't afford 
hard to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Harden with a bucket. What a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Booker with it. Picked up by Tucker. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Count that bucket. Aiden's got six points in the quarter. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't full. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Sixers on top. They lead by four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, thank you, guys. Doc Rivers here with us now. Coach, you're ahead at the half. What was the difference? We got stops. We're out running a little bit. Uh, and then we had great spacing against the zone. You know, listen, we started making shots. That always helps. It sure does. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Welcome, folks. The Philadelphia 76ers going head-to-head -head in what's been a neck-and-neck -neck battle through two quarters. Man, they're getting downhill. They're getting their feet wet in the paint, not settling for those jumpers and uncontested, Jack. They are getting uncontested looks at the rim. Well, just what Dr. O'Neill ordered, throw your weight around, move some furniture, make things happen. Move some furniture? It's going to be some furniture moving in here. Keep talking crazy to me over here. Kenny, wake up, you're dreaming. Okay, now let's see what's going on around the league in terms of injuries. Well, obviously the absence of Jimmy Butler is a challenge. This guy rallies the squad. Leadership isn't something you can just replace with different lineups. Not at all, Shaq. Big loss is tough and it sets the tone for this team. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. couple of quarters this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge what else can you say hey Joel Embiid an impressive effort here today and he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half how can they slow him down and you know what guys I think it starts with having a body on him every time a shot goes up I mean, they've got to do a better job boxing out Kicking off the second half, here's Monty Williams' five. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. And it's Bridges in at the three, the small forward. On the wing, Hart. He's guarded by Bridges. Throws it down, and the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Throughout years of play, one thing that has stayed consistent in the game of James Hart. His remarkable ability to facilitate. You got to admit that Harden just has a gift for finding assists, Clark. Yeah, he really does, B.A., and it's so amazing to watch. I mean, he's a guy that specializes in torching people one-on-one. -on -one. But he's also almost as good setting other people up. Maybe it all comes back to how good he is at reading defenders. And I think there's something to be said for that. And pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now. And there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA. Well, in their offensive attack. 
Crowder a screen on Harden. Booker. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Booker's got four points now in the quarter. And this is what they depend on Booker to do. Such a versatile, confident score. And the shot goes down. And the 76ers lead by eight. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Booker against Harden. Out to the right wing. Eight, a screen on Maxi. Paul, shot is off. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. Booker against Harden. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. You know, whenever James Harden steps onto the courts, you're almost expecting him to go off. He's got a great reputation that's well earned in this league as an elite scorer. Booker finds Aiden. Outside for Booker. On target from about 13 feet. Booker's got 14 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take. The ball's knocked loose. Crowder with a steal. Paul against Maxi. Now here's Paul. Bridges outside from deep three-point range. Here's Aiton. Second shot opportunity. And he takes it up and lays it in. He's got 10. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Embiid inside. He's against Aiden. Inside. And Harden with the slam. He's pouring it on in a nice clip. And the rest of the team is stumping up as well. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Right side, Booker. Launches it. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his third assist of the night. <laughs> A legit sniper from downtown. Booker rises up with such ease from beyond the arc. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Up top, backseat. Pass to Harden. And Booker pulls it down. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Crowder with it. Outside Paul. Bridges, a screen on Maxi. Paul. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight here already in the game. And here is Maxi. Six points for him. Up top, Embiid. Over Bridges. Embiid misses. Phoenix has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Maxi against Paul. For three, Bridges. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got nine rebounds now. Outside Maxi, pass to Tucker, and here's Harris. Now here's Embiid, covered by Crowder, tries a 10-footer, and another miss by Philadelphia. The Suns have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Eight, the screen on Harden, Booker with it, picked up by Embiid. And he can't bank that one in. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit, maybe lost concentration too. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Got it. Good job in the low post. Embiid's got 16 points now. You see why they go to Embiid in close. I mean, he's more than capable of getting it in the hoop. Booker, the pass to Crowder. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. And some changes here for the 76ers. Niang, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Thibault comes in for Tucker. And it's Melton in for James Harden. And a change for the Suns. Johnson's checked in. Maxi, that's good. 
right. more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. Pass to Harris. Dybul against Bridges. Here's Niang. Harris left side. No good off the back of the rim. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink his strategy around what to do with him. And he makes it. Now just a 3-point 76ers lead. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Now Maxi. Give him eight. Harris is screen on Paul. Stolen by Booker. And the Suns pushing it up now. Here's Johnson. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got five assists in the game. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Thibault. Soft touch off the glass. For Phoenix, they've gotten eight of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Up top, Aiden. Releases. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Maxi. Clock at six. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's a five-point Philadelphia lead. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. Ball passes to Booker. Booker drawing the double. Bridges a screen on Maxi. Here's Paul for three. Booker knocks it down yeah, from distance. Booker. Booker's got 22. After doing nothing from beyond the arc in the first half, he has turned things around. And Philadelphia calls time here. Milton's checked in for Maxi. He's really been spectacular lately. Here's your Western Conference Player of the Week, Devin Booker. As of late, he has been an absolute menace on the defensive end of the floor, causing all kinds of trouble for opposing offenses and making it really tough for the other team to find buckets. You know, you can't allow Harris to get comfortable there now, guys. I mean, once he gets the position that he wants, you're toast. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Rick Clark looking at last year's Sixers team. They were last in the NBA in offensive rebound. And also last in field goal attempts. And those go hand in hand. If you're not taking a lot of shots, then you're not going to have a chance for a lot of offensive rebounds. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense when you're not getting second shots. I expect them to really emphasize crashing the offensive boards this season. Harris on the wing. Niang a screen. That falls. Nice set up by Harris. Niang's got nine. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's ten straight points now inside. Pass to Booker. Back to Payne. The three. The shot that time not on target. And it's Philadelphia the other way. And here's Milton. Now here's Harris, the 17-footer, and again, it's Philadelphia. A real comfort zone for Harris. I mean, he's looking to score often from this area. Outside Booker. 141 left in the third quarter. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Things started to click for him in the second half. You can tell the focus and the intent is all there. Here's Milton. Pass to Niang. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Phoenix ball. 
While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. Fifth best, the Suns. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were really in sync. A nice flow and rhythm to their offensive game. But anytime you score the points they did, it's about unselfishness and trusting each other. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Phoenix calls timeout. and shooting percentage and here's a team that loves sharing the ball top five in assists they had an offense that did not stagnate hey it's no simple task to lead the league in field goal percentage it takes a lot of patience and a lot of restraint outside Craig pass to Payne Sinks the tray. Payne's got 13. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Screen by Embiid. And it's going to be a three-second call. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. Phoenix has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. There's a screen. Booker with it. Picked up by Embiid, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Outside Milton. Up top, Embiid. Oh, no good. The dry smell continues. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. To the middle. Here's Harris. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Harris has got six here in the quarter. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Craig with a screen on Melton. Here's Booker. And no trying to get that one to fall. Devin Booker, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty. But when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. 
Maxie and Harden make up the backcourt, and it's Milton in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Ball against Maxie. Outside Booker. Pass to Johnson. Three-pointer, no good. The Sixers leading. Milton with it. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid. And here's Tucker, covered by Crowder. Just five to shoot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll Chris take two Paul. from the free throw line. That's his second. It goes on Chris Paul. First team. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. Paul passes to Booker. Aiden with it. Embiid covers. Aiden, no good. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. The NBA playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. Here's Harden. Here's Embiid. And he gets it to go off the front iron. Embiid's gotten four this quarter. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Embiid is not just an okay shooter. This guy's a terrific shooter. So you can't let him get comfortable really from any distance. He can knock it down from anywhere. Outside for Booker. Crowder a screen on Harden. Booker with it. Picked up by Tucker. Booker no good. The 76ers shooting 55% for the game so far. Milton passes to Embiid. Back to Milton. Embiid a screen on Paul. Milton for three. And Booker pulls it down. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Tries to snap the cold streak. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harden's got rebound number eight now. The shot misses. Booker with the defensive effort. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Paul, a screen on Milton. Booker, the pass to Paul. The layup misses. For Philadelphia, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over eight. The Sixers with another miss. The Suns have gotten nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Booker against Harden. Booker can't get it to go. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harden. Inside. And Maxi, the bucket on the assist by Milton. Milton's got four assists in the game. Phoenix calls timeout. The Suns making a switch here. Bridges has checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. And this is just typical of him, always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Booker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
That's on Joel Embiid, an active shooter. Booker is clever at finding ways to attract fouls on the way up. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Here's Milton. The Sixers again can't hit. The Suns trailing. Pass to Paul. Shoots over Maxi. Misses off the left iron. For Philadelphia, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Milton passes to Embiid. Harden from outside. And Chris Paul clears it away. Paul's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Booker. Aiton, the screen on Tucker. For three, Booker sinks it from distance. Booker's got five points in the quarter. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's Harden. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Yeah, Aiden has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. And that misses. That would have put him up. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Harden. That one is off. Excellent D there from Booker. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And it's blocked by Embiid. Incredibly light-footed at seven feet tall. Embiid can cover a lot of ground defensively. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Here's Booker. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Sixers leading. Milton with it. Now guarded by Booker. Embiid from outside. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Aiden, a screen on Harden. To the paint. To take the lead. And Aiden with the lay-in. And the Suns lead by one. And that's just terrific body control by Aiden. Setting a solid pick and then quickly getting himself open. Outside Tucker. Embiid against Aiden. They get it back. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Embiid's got six in the quarter. You know, with all he does offensively, at his size, Joel Embiid is like a cheat code. Special talent. Aiden finds Booker. Aiden, the screen on Harden. Good chance here for Booker. Joel Embiid with the board. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris is checked in. Crowder pass to Paul. Over Maxi. Paul can't get it to go. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Maxi against Bridges. Maxi passes to Harris. Shoots over Paul. Harris misses. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. On the wing, Crowder. Back to Booker. Aiden, a screen on Harden. Booker can't get it to go. He's fallen into a bit of a slump this quarter. How quickly things can turn. And here's Harden. Outside Tucker. Here's Embiid. Yes! And the foul! 
It goes on Chris Paul. Joe L. Embiid on top of things there, folks. Recognizing a big possession and commanding the ball. Well, the Sun's shooting about 41%. Booker, pass to Paul. Three-pointer. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harden's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. To the left side wing. Sweet little floater. And it's a 6-point 76ers lead. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jump. The three, Booker. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Three points. Paul's got five assists in the game. Huge, man. I mean, the defense knows what Booker's capable of, but cannot get a stop. Embiid passes to Harden. This is not unfamiliar territory for Harden. He is used to being the go-to guy, especially when his team needs a big hoop. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack of total team effort. Embiid passes to Maxi. outside. Shot clock at six. Maxi against Paul. That shot, no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Outside Booker. High arcing shot. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They've led by as much as ten. Outside Harden. Launches a three. He can't get that one to fall. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Crowder a screen on Harden. And Booker puts up a deep three. And again, it's the Suns missing. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere. But he could have gotten a better one than that. A chance here to possibly put the game away. They have to remain focused to get it done. And an intentional foul right there. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Extending the team's lead to solid execution at the line. Crowder with a screen. Pass to Aiden, to the wing, right side. From downtown, doesn't go for him. Now Philadelphia with it. They're on an 11-3 run. Now Tucker. Outside Maxi. So it's Philadelphia picking up the win. Well, I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. But a win's a win. And so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? James, congratulations on a big win. But I ask you this, where does this team need to continue to grow? Uh, you know, our backbone, what we're going to rely on is our defense. And uh, it's on us now defensively to be able to lock up, be able to communicate, and be able to sustain it for full quarters. And once we get that at a high level and consistently, uh, it's going to be a problem. Thanks, James. Back to you. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.